Check out this video out of Southern Marion County of a large water spout on Friday evening captured by Nina Ingram as she was out jet skiing. We were jet skiing and it started getting like really dark and thundering and lightning and we were like, well, maybe it's time we should pack it up and go and we looked up and it started getting really, really dark and then towards the right of it in the water we kept seeing like it looked like somebody was doing like donuts on a jet ski and it was splashing up. And that is really a great visual of how these water spouts start to form up. Up and you saw like the clouds like connecting to it and it just started like like literally a vortex and I was like whoa so we were just like we really need the speed right now to get back and and then we just stopped at the boat ramp and that's when I started reporting because I was like this is unbelievable. Now, at the time of this event, there was a severe thunderstorm warning in place, but no damage was reported as this water spout remained out over water. But Nina did the right thing by getting the shore as quickly as possible, as these water spouts can still be dangerous. And even with our daily afternoon thunderstorms here across northeastern Florida, you can see that threat of water spouts here on our local lakes and rivers. In fact, on average, yearly, we do get 60 tornadoes in the state of Florida. So, of course, we're always going to keep you posted on that threat here at First Coast News. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.